Carl Darren, congratulations through to the semi finals again this year. Darren, just talk us through that match. Happy, uh, cost 2 0 down. We didn't really do a lot wrong, we just got a, bit, a couple of bad rolls, but they looked solid at the start. I'm thinking, oh, because uh, yesterday they, they couldn't make a ball. I mean, really struggled, especially uh, Babkin. But obviously, today's a different day, so I said, look, we don't take them lightly, because uh, if we do, then they get off to a good start. We're under immense pressure. But uh, from 2 0, we uh, played pretty solid. 3 2, they make a big mistake when the guy fouled with his, uh, his extension over the uh, jump cube. So that really sort of gives us a lot of breathing space then, and they never really recovered from that. They start making mistakes, even both players. Uh, and then we just picked up the pieces, played our game. We, we broke pretty, pretty good in that match. Uh, it seems like the table is breaking better from the right side than the left side. Uh, so we're yeah, just happy to win 9 3 from 2 0. At 2 0, you're thinking, oh, this could be uh, tricky, aren't we? Uh, obviously, they've done well to get to the quarters. Great achievement for them. But for us, it was all about getting, getting the win. Obviously, we're big favourites, so that has more pressure. But now we're just really in the tournament now. I mean, we played Thai, one in the semis. We, we can't ask any more than that. And Carl, you through to the Sunday again. Is this the start, the stage of the tournament where you start to think about winning it? I think when you get to the quarter final, it's a race to nine. That's, you know, you feel like you're in the mix. But, you know, there's a lot of pressure on us tonight. Everybody on social media and, you know, throughout the pool world saying we can't lose and whatever else. But, you know, you still got to go out there and do a job. And, you know, things go a little bit funny early on, they get a bit of confidence and obviously we're fighting, that's sort of what happened really. I mean, we probably got a little bit lucky in the middle of the match, but, you know, that's pool and we just kept saying hang in and be patient and obviously we managed to get the win. And Darren mentioned Taiwan there, they've got a new world champion in their ranks, how difficult will that be tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, obviously he's, he's full of confidence, but it's a doubles event. Uh, I'm not sure if they've, they've played, you know, great themselves, not really watched much of it and, you know, it's... It's a game of pool, it's a race to nine, and as long as we break well and we get our fair amount of chances, it should be a good game. And Darren, England B just starting now, people are starting to think they could have an All England final. Is that something that's on the cards? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely possible. I mean, obviously, on paper now in the semis, we will have the tougher team on paper, but that doesn't mean anything. Well, obviously, England B play Finland, and then the winners play Japan, so any of them three teams, really, I mean, it's really uh, you're throwing a blanket over the three teams. That, so, any, so, any of them three are on paper. It's like 50-50 between the three of them. So they've got a good chance. I mean, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing if it's two England teams in the final. I mean, it's good for us, but uh, well, we'd definitely like to play them. Uh, but um, we just maybe have to have a, uh, a word with our new coach, Jason Clatt, see, see what ideas he's got for us. <laughs> uh, we, we sort of in, employed him, but uh, it... He hasn't done much yet. He's like done a lot of drinking. He's too busy drinking. He's a bit too busy drinking, so we're like assessing the uh, cut at the moment. Darren's yeah. giving him 20%, you said. No, <laughs> more like 1%. Uh, first, 20%. <laughs>